Tuesday. I have not vlogged in a while. We have to vlog. I haven't vlogged in weeks. Has it been weeks? Like weeks. I don't know, I've just been really, really crazy. Lots of deadlines, lots of work, but really want to. So I want to share with you cases. Cookie's one of the few lymphoma dogs that needs maintenance chemo to stay in remission. For her, we decided since she didn't seem to hold her remission that that maintenance chemotherapy, that's what we would do. So uh, it's working for her and hopefully she will stay in remission. How long we'll do it? Not sure yet, maybe six months, um, but she's tolerating it super fantastically and having a great quality of life, which is always the reason why we do everything. Just printed Pokey's discharge instructions. Here they are. And uh, she's getting her chemo now and let's go see how she's doing. Love you. This is Callan. He's a seven and a half year old Irish setter. I don't see a lot of Irish setters, which I always say is probably good for the breed if I'm not seeing them. Um, I haven't seen one probably since my internship and residency days. And believe it or not, this owner knows the woman that I worked with at the Animal Medical Center who also shows Irish setters. So Callan has an unusual tumor. I see a good number of them, but not super common. He has an anal sac adenocarcinoma, and this mom was super proactive and had found it um, when she was expressing his anal gland, brought him in, and it was removed when it's small, which is a good thing for Callan because uh, size has been shown to be a good thing, meaning the smaller we find it, the better they do. Other thing is he didn't have a high blood calcium, which is great. That's also been shown to be a positive thing. And he had surgery. So we know that dogs, that if they can only have one treatment, whether it's surgery, radiation, or chemo, they do better if they have surgery in their treatment plan. So he did, and now we're gonna follow up with some chemo to hopefully prevent it from metastasizing. So he's getting his first treatment called carboplatin. Uh, it's a common drug that we use. Another common cancer that we give it to is osteosarcoma. So anyway, he's getting his treatment. Mom's really nervous. She loves him, everything that we would expect. Um, nerves, love, all that, but hopefully he's gonna kick cancer's butt and he is just super fantastic. That beautiful dog is Dakota, a almost 11 year old female spade Springer Spaniel who had lymphoma. Finished chemo two months ago, so it's her two month recheck. Felt her lymph node, thought one was a little bit big. Tried to aspirate it, but did not get a diagnostic sample, so I didn't see any good lymph node on there. So we're just gonna use two blood tests for monitoring. One is called LDH, which is an enzyme that the levels are typically higher in uh, some cancers in people and dogs. So I use that as a monitoring, and then this other one called the lymphoma blood test, um, which uh, uses some markers to detect early relapse. So good physical exam, some blood tests, and we will see her back next month, hopefully, if everything looks good. I love this dog. She's a sweetie. Dad was super nervous about treating, and she did great, and everybody's super happy. I love it. I like how you guys work in unison. That's good. We've been practicing. It's yeah. nice. It's nice. Come on, Lynn. Give it to me. Good. You gotta think of a cheer next. I like it. I like it. Especially with your hair to the side. Looking good. All right. <laughs> Bye, Dakota. Let's examine you, baby girl. X-ray all good. This is her heart, and everything looks good see any evidence of metastasis or spread which is great. I always take three x-rays so this is her laying on her other side. You can miss about 20% of nodules if you don't get them laying on both sides. That looks great. And this is what we call the VD where she's laying on her back and I think everything looks great. We'll send these out to the radiologist 
but good news for Fallon. Maya was a little bit over halfway through her chemotherapy protocol and in remission. Woo! -hoo! Go Maya. She's good. She's great. Um, so Jen went over everything. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. So her lymph nodes are great. Her weight's down a little, which is perfect because <laughs> we don't. She had gained so much weight. Um, but other than that, her blood work looks great. Keep doing what you're doing. Six thirty. Time to go home. Busy day, a little bit tired. Uh, it was first day back after being at a conference, which is always crazy. Just dealt with like six messages and callbacks, but they're done. And hopefully the commute home won't be bad. I think it's pretty hot out there. So I'm actually excited for some fresh air. Day is done, getting in the car. Good news is when I leave this late, I typically, a lot of traffic. It was a bright side. Hello! Hello, Matilda! Everybody's here to freaky and end the vlog. We have to end the vlog. Good back up. Let's say hi to the boys. Let's say hi to the boys. Hi! How was your day? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you have? How many days left? Three. Three days! And one doesn't really count because it's moving up ceremony. I didn't know. What? Woo. You're shy? It's woo. All right. How was your day? You had no school. Yeah. You lucky boy. Stuart's killing. I know. Give me a hug. Mm -hmm. How was your day? Did you have school? No. We're out. I always say I never end the vlog, and I forgot to end the vlog, so we're ending the vlog. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you later. Good night. Dinner time.